Okay, we are going to see how um, Xilabs work. So in chapter one, if we go to Xilab training basics, um, I'm not going to run through every lab, but I'm going to show you a couple of tips to work with Xilabs without getting frustrated, okay? So this talks about how, whatever I'm going to show you, this is what they're talking about, okay? So when you have code like this, it gives you code and it says, well, try a few things, right? And you have some instructions. Not all labs have all these instructions, but some of them simply say, write code to do this and this, okay? So let's say you've written some code and I want to test this. So I'm going to do a run program and it shows, it tells me, it tells me your program expects input. So we need to give it some input. So let's type in a number here and then let's try it again. Run program and now it says eight, okay? And it doesn't give us any other errors. So then let's go to submit mode and see if that's what we wanted. If you go to submit mode, notice what it says here. It runs it right away. Um, and it says, well, there are a few problems here. You got zero out of three. And the reason being, let's see, and here is where you need to kind of figure out what it's trying to tell you, okay? So first of all, it says output is nearly correct, but white space differs. So here is your output, here's the difference. It expects that is a no line, okay? Almost every lab at the end needs a new line. So you go to the very last statement and you put a new line like that. We want that, right? That is the output. After the output, it expects a new line, okay? So that'll take care of that. And let's fix one error at a time. Here is that other tip that it says, you know, don't try to fix um, five different errors because then you don't know what has actually happened. So let's first fix one error and let's try to submit. And you can do this as many times as you want. You can submit multiple times, not have to worry about it. This is all just practice, right? So, and then, oh, now we have other problems. It says, your output is 24, it expects 144. So 12 times two, it's not 12 times two. Let's see what we are asked to do. So it says user number square. So the assignment is to get an integer from input and output that integer squares ending with no line. Usually that's all you see in your lab. All this is just tips for the first lab because it's uh, training, right? So we're supposed to read an integer and we are supposed to square it, not add it. So here's your note, it says bug here, fix it. So let's fix it and put a multiplication sign and try that and see if we are able to pass all the tests. And you hit submit mode and it should compile and try it one more time. Did it actually work? Oh, submit for grading. Okay, now it says all tests passed, right? So make sure that you watch out, you read the errors, okay? Let's do one more. I'm not sure you one more. Let's do um, this one that says no parking sign, right? Formatted. So usually this is all the instruction you get. You don't get all of that information that you, you don't have to read any of that stuff. So read this, write a program that prints a formatted no parking sign as shown below. Note the first line has two leading spaces. It even tells you how many spaces are needed, so you don't have to worry about counting them. And for all labs, end with no line unless otherwise stated. And here you go. You just type your code here. So it's come here, and let's say see out. Let's type in. We're supposed to see. It told us two spaces, no parking. And it doesn't say anything after that. I don't care for spaces after that. But I do need a new line after that. So I'm going to put in new line after that. And on the next line, because we have to type something else on the next line, right? And there is no space there. It starts right away. So two colon zero zero. There is a space. All these spaces are very important. Six colon zero zero. And I'm going to make some mistakes here um, so we can figure out what it's doing. So I put an A dot M dot and a space and um, and then it says all labs must end with a new line. So I will put that new line there, right? Okay, now let's leave it in develop mode and let's run the program to see what we get. And again, I didn't put in any input, but it doesn't need any input in this case. And so it says no errors, right? Let's then submit, submit mode. Let's try to submit it. 
and let's um, submit for grading. And we got a score of zero out of 10. And it says something here. Output is nearly correct, but white space differs. So here is my output and here's the expected output. Notice here it says there's an extra space after the A and the M. Oh, let's get rid of the space. So take away that space and take away that space and then submit again. And like I said, don't worry about how many times you submit. You just submit it as many times as you want until you get the program right. This is all going to be practice. Okay. So there, now it's better. It says all tests passed. So that's kind of how you work with Xilax. It is very important for you to make sure you understand how the spacing works, what it is trying to tell you, right, as far as the error goes. And I will show you more of these as we go through and do the rest of the chapters.